Hi. In the last session, we have done the SHDB recording for the transition code VK11. And then after recording, we have created the program using that recording. Then we have added the required logic, logic like the creation of internal table. Then we have given uh, implement the code for the file selection, uploading file. Then we done the field mapping from internal table to the BTC data. And we have successfully run the transition code with both the call transition method and the generate session method. Now, in this session, we'll see how to do the code simplification. The example, my requirement is, I don't want this screen of the top position. I want the transition should work only with the call transition method and user should able to see on the screen only this text file and the processing mode that is N, A or E. Okay, so in this session, we'll see how to do the address code logic into our program. So what we'll do, we'll use the same program and we'll create a new program by copy of this existing program. Go back zvk11 underscore bdc underscore demo. Click on copy icon. Here add sa call transaction. Let's say only call tran. Click on copy. Nothing is there, but still we can write copy. I am saving a local object. Go to chain mode. First activate as it is. Now, from where this top screen is coming? First way to identify that from where this top screen is coming. Because here we have written only the code for the file name. Okay. So if you see at the top, when we have created the program from SN35, system automatically add or uh, include program BTC REC X1. So if you go inside this program, so you can see the selection screen code is there. Along with selection screen, lot of other codes are there that also be required. Okay. So we have to comment this code, then we can see only this screen. But along with selection screen, there are a lot of code that we have to copy in all this program. So what we'll do, we'll open this in a new session, go to SE38, enter the include name. Now the very first, what we'll do, we have to perform routing BDC Dine Pro and BDC Field. If you double click here, it is navigating to the include program. So we have to copy this code and add into our program. Before adding this code, we have to add the data declaration for BDC data. Double click here. So you can see in the same include program, this code is there. Copy both the data declaration. One is for the BDC data and second is for the message tab. Go back. At the top first, add this data declaration. Now, double click, go to display mode because this is standard program. Now copy the both form routine from the same include program, BTC, REXC, X1 and paste at the bottom. Here, replace this no data with a space. Okay. Now we'll comment this include program. Save. Check. BDC transition does not exist. Okay. This is also there in that include program. So we have to replace this also. First, 
standing com uh, comment this let me see any other error close group okay so for the call transition method as we have seen we don't require will come from top okay so we don't require this open group open group we don't require because it is required only for session method here we are doing the call transition and we don't require a close group okay check and activate no error so what we have done we have declared the BDC data into our program and then we have added the form routine from the standard include program okay now here if you go to the include program which we have opened in new session so in standard program this piece of code get called that is call transition the t code name using btc data mode update mode and the message into messages message tag same code we have to add in our program select the same code here or if you know the code you can write as it is okay. for every record refresh bdc data in the loop write down that code only refresh the message tab as well as the bdc data when we are writing the refresh it will clear both the work area as well as the table data because this is occur zero with header line okay now which transition call we want to call in our scenario it is vk11 using bdc data mode mode will uh, provide from the selection screen so let's replace with this with a parameter let's say p underscore mode that we have to declare at the top updation will be asynchronous and the message is into the message tab okay so first we'll add this p mode on the selection screen go to selection screen here we have added the file here add p underscore mode let's say type care 4 it should be obligatory and default will put as mode a that is the display all screen so check with no error okay go to text element and here give as the btc mode 7 activate go back so i will summarize again what we have done first we have done the data declaration with bdc data and the message tab we have comment the standard include program which was generated by the program automatically we have also comment the open group and after the group there was close group then from the same include program we have added the bdc dime pro and the bdc field then we have added this code call transition vk11 using bdc data mode will pass from the selection screen updation will be the a now for every every record after finishing that record system will generate the automatic messages that message will come in this message tab okay so for our confirmation we required all uh, record wise messages in the output this is called the message handling if you double click on this message tab this is of type btc message call so you can see the structure it has a t code the uh, dynamic name the message id the message number and the messages so for our requirement we have to convert this to a string format so either we can create a separate log file or here i'm just adding in my internal table only the last field I'm adding as the message type I'm taking as a string. Okay. Go back. 
Now for each record, system will generate the message in the message tab. Okay. So how to read the message? Let's say if message tab body is not initial here I want the message in my output here we we'll write the code as loop at message tab it is already with the work area so no need of work area it is with the header line end loop Now inside this, we'll call a function model. There are multiple function model. We can use any one. So I'm going to use the be the message text underscore build. Here we have to pass the message ID. That will be from the message tab. Same field name. That is the message ID. Then we'll part pass the message number ms gnr and here pass all the four messages v1 v2 v3 v4 which you have seen it is there in this structure ms gv1 ms gv2 ms gv3 and the ms gv4 in return system will give the message in the output that i'm going to take in my same internal table because my current loop is at the gt underscore i tab in that work area i have added one field as message if you want, you can uh, use the new internal table for the logs. But for my purpose, I'm taking the same one. Now, I'm going to select only single message. There can be multiple message for each record. But here, to show the concept, I'm using only single message. Okay. Modify gt underscore i tab from gs underscore i tab transporting message so what i'm doing here for each record we'll get the messages in the message tab i have made a loop at that message tab and i'm doing the message formatting by passing the message id message number and the one single message i will get in this string that i'm passing to my internal table okay seven so check if any errors are there so no error now after finishing of record what I will do, I will just display my table as output. Seal underscore demo underscore output. Display to the table name gt underscore i tab. Full stop, save, check, and activate. So, no error. Okay, so we are done with our coding. If you execute, you can see the BDC mode here in the text file. Okay, so BDC mode, uh, I have to take only single character, not the four character. It is a char1. Okay. So I will summarize again what we have done. First, we have done the data declaration for the BDC tab. And the message tab we come in the open group in the close group we have added this piece of code that is called transition and we have done the message formatting i'm taking the message in my internal table only and finally displaying that in the output okay execute i'm going to use the mode n here that is the background mode selecting my file from the desktop First, let me show you the, my file on the desktop. 
here is my file i have 10 records and for information my uh, one of my record is wrong i think this one this one is wrong this is in the error stage okay so i'm writing the same file in the background mode select the file here desktop select the source double click execute my mode is n it is a background mode so you can see the system has done the batch processing my first eight records are successful and the ninth one was having an error okay and the tenth one again successful so in this way we have done the code simplification for the call transition we have also uh, learned how to do how to read the messages here i am showing as a output table if you want you can download this also in an excel file or a text file as a requirement okay so in this way we can do the code simplification for converting the standard generated code in a form of a call transition for easy use of the user so in this way we done with this session that is call transition next we'll uh, see the session method